Minimum wage sends St. Louis to Washington. Cancer sends Jason Mott's mission throughout the MLB. And Botox and wine, do they mix? That and more today in The Sift. Welcome to The Sift. I'm Gabrielle Biondo with some of what St. Louis is talking about. We've seen the local fast food worker protests, and Wednesday, President Obama stumped for his minimum wage hike, but took a new approach, appealing to specific markets, including St. Louis. KSDK sent anchor Mike Bush to the White House to interview Obama. Bush took viewers on his journey with tweets like this as he passed through security. And this, his meeting with advisors, and how media spent some time before the interview. Oh, and one of my favorites, White House dogs, whatever. The interview was set to air Wednesday at 10 p.m. Along with the city of St. Louis, Pie Pizza and Gringo are now increasing minimum wage for employees. April 1st, the company will increase wages to 10 10 an hour in all seven of its restaurants. That's 260 more than Missouri's minimum wage. Now, this news is being well received by most with tweets like this. Although Pi insists the increase won't affect customers' checks, some remain skeptical. Cardinals pitcher Jason Mott's fight against cancer continues to gain momentum, with his mission now uniting on-field competitors off the field. MLB.com reports that small efforts started last spring with 300 shirts Mott hoped would raise money for a cancer center in Memphis. However, fans across the country began asking for shirts in their team's colors, and that grew to benefiting other players' charities on other teams. As you can see, people on Twitter are as excited about the project as the players. If you have some unwanted wrinkles and a bit of anxiety, maybe a Botox and wine party is the perfect solution for you. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch goes inside such an event where a cardiologist held a recent after-hours party and offered just that. Apparently these parties are quite common, but even better, the article generated some interesting online comments, calling the party creepy and saying the participants' money would be better spent on a psychiatrist. But there are those defending such events, saying it's like any other party, and Botox is very popular, so get over it. Find more on all of these stories below, and we're on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube. Be sure to follow us there. We leave you with our St. Louis Meta Moment. According to the Boathouse Facebook page, the restaurant is reopening March 31st after that fire shut it down in January. Ah, uh, another sign of spring.